Hi and welcome to another video. In this uh, video I will share a little uh, haul with you and also uh, some of the meals that we are gonna have this week. So I was at Coop, our uh, smallest store, and bought just a few items uh, that I needed uh, for some collaboration and for some, rest, um, some meals. Um, I will share this with you. Um, the first thing I show you is some cocoa powder. I'm gonna make a collaboration with this cocoa powder and also uh, some uh, sweet, uh, sweet and uh, uh, coconut flakes, as you can see here. I bought two of those bags and also some hazelnuts that I'm gonna have in another uh, video later on. Um, so stay tuned for that. And uh, I also hadn't so much uh, protein left, so I have bought quite a, uh, much uh, uh, sausage and stuff. Here is some uh, freezer bags that I needed. I didn't have any left, so I bought two of those. Um, I also bought some bacon, two packages of bacon. I'm just gonna stir them up with some pasta sauce and some pasta. Some hot dogs that you boil. Uh, I'm gonna make another uh, video with that. And here is some Swedish fall sausage. I think you saw me bought that before. And some ground beef. I don't know really what I'm gonna make with this yet. Maybe just some uh, um, meatballs or something. Here I have some uh, potatoes that is special, uh, special for mashed potatoes. And here is uh, four pizzas on Friday. We are gonna have pizza, it was a while ago. I bought four different kinds. So one with the pineapple, and uh, one with uh, one with just uh, cheese and ham, and one with mozzarella, and then uh, I think it was also one with salami. Uh, the first recipe I'm gonna make is with chicken. I didn't have uh, this, chi uh, this chicken package um, in the haul, but I bought the, the chicken another uh, day. Um, I'm gonna make a super easy chicken in the oven, so I'm just gonna take these frozen chickens. I'm gonna melt some butter and also gonna put some uh, herbs inside uh, and just brush it uh, over my chicken. A really nice and easy uh, recipe and I'm gonna serve this just with some roasted potatoes and some uh, corn on the cob and also some cream corn. We didn't have so much uh, corn on the cob. So I also choose to make some cream corn to go with this. So this is the dinner we are gonna have for Monday, that is today. The haul was on a, uh, on a Sunday. So as you can see, I just brush it on top first. But uh, when I did that, I uh, just thought that why don't I just pour all over the chicken instead? It's much easier. And then you're gonna have this chicken in the oven for about an hour in middle uh, t temperature. The herbs that I have is actually Greek herbs that my father bought when he was in Greece. And with the, the chicken, uh, I just serve some uh, uh, corn and corn on the cob. Um, I actually decided to make cream corn because I thought I think that is really nice, and uh, bec also because it's. Um, only four uh, of these corn on the cups that I bought. And so my kids can share uh, that because they are not um, fans of cream corn. And I'm also gonna make, as I said, some uh, oven roasted potatoes. I have also already made them. So uh, that was lo like some leftovers that we had with another uh, recipe that I will share later. Um, here I uh, creamed the corn. I just had uh, some uh, butter flour um, and then I just put some uh, milk and then the cream and boil it up and then I actually added some salt, pepper, a bit of cayenne pepper and a bit of nutmeg. Um, so here is the chicken out from the oven. It smelled really nice and this was actually one of the better um, recipes that I ever made. It was really a really nice combination with the chicken and the corn and the roasted potatoes. So really nice uh, dinner this day. Here you can see my son's plate. 
with the coriander cob, the chicken, and some potatoes, and I have just the cream corn. So the other day uh, we had some um, fish stick or fish fel fish fillets, and here you can see the uh, roasted potatoes that I made. So th we made this uh, day before we made the chicken, and I have also some uh, um, some remoulade sauce and some pep paprika and some carrots. It's easy, easy dinner. So the next recipe is just a very easy one. I um, I bought these two uh, packages of uh, bacon that I will cut up in smaller pieces and serve with some pasta. I also had uh, a leek and uh, green bell pepper in my fridge that I had to um, use up before they went bad. Uh, I really tried to use up everything that I had in my pantry and in my fridge, but um, yeah, it, it was a really nice dish and very easy and budget friendly and I just had some salt and pepper uh, with it the kids had also some uh, ketchup and uh, me and my spouse also had some cream, uh, cream corn left from the chicken recipe so we just had that as a side as well So here is the plate, the pasta and the bacon and uh, the cream corn, in a really really nice and budget friendly dinner also. So on Thursday we are just going to have some leftovers but I also added in some um, fried onion and also some, um, some gravy that I made from my gravy package. You just blend it with water and milk and um, we actually had some uh, uh, grounded beef uh, patties uh, that my spouse made uh, uh, yesterday uh, on Wednesday and uh, we had some leftovers and also some leftover mashed potatoes but it was not as much so I made uh, a little bit more so I have just boiled the potatoes here I cut them small and boil them and then I'm gonna add in some uh, milk and some butter and some spices and the uh, Salzburg steaks uh, or the uh, beef patties is in the oven and uh, just heat, I'm just gonna heat them up a bit and uh, that's gonna be the dinner uh, for this day. I'm also gonna serve this with some uh, shredded carrots and some lingonberry preserves on the side. <laughs> Okay, so now the uh, mashed potatoes and uh, other things for this dinner is ready. Here is the steaks, or the Salzburg steaks, or beef patties, whatever you say. Uh, we call it pan beef in Sweden. It's, it's like a, a pan uh, steak or a pan beef. And um, it was a really, really nice uh, dinner. And uh, we served it, as you can see, also with some uh, shredded carrots. And I added some uh, lime juice and some... Uh, Partially, uh, dried partially on the top. And here is my plate with the steaks and the, some lingonberries, some the potatoes, and the onions and the carrots. A really, really nice dinner. Thank you for watching, and I see you in my next video. And I really hope that you enjoyed this. I really ap appreciate all of you. And I have also seen I have a lot of new subscribers. I really enjoyed uh, that you are subscribing to my channel. And I hope you stay tuned because it will come a lot of fun videos. Um, 
tomorrow and also on Sunday and Saturday. So thank you so much and I see you in my next video. Bye!